Ang anahan di sa Aurelio Isip and welcome to Isip na yan. No? So our topic for today no, isa na namang topic ng ating pag-aralan. No? So uh, ano nga, dalawa nga ito. No? Ito yung ating uh, ASA, congruence postulate, tsaka SAA, congruence postulate. Okay, let's start. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung nakaraan nating video, no? It's all about the SSS congruence tra- postulate tsaka yung uh, SAS. So, balikan mo to. Doon na tayo sa ASA postulate. Pag sinabi natin ASA, no? It stands for Ingle Side Ingle, no? So, meron dito yung gitna, no? Ingle Side Ingle. Yung S dito, yan ay Side Included side, no? Tinatawag niya included side. Siya ay nasa gitna ng dalawang angles, no? So, ibig sabihin, masasabi natin, no? Ang dalawang, kungro, ang dalawang triangles are congruent kapag ito ay may parehas na angle, side, angle, no? Nasa pagitan ng yung side, no? Sa dalawang angle, pag pare-pareha sila. So, ibig sabihin, siya ay congruent. Sila ay congruent. So, let's define, no? What is ASA postulate? Kasi sabi ng ASA postulate, no, sabi nakalagay dito sa definition natin. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng included side mo na, no? So, for example, we have here two tri- two triangles, no? So, nakalagay rito. So, ibig sabihin yung angle A Tsaka angle B Ang included side nila Is side AB So angle Angle Ang included side is yung side AB Yun yung included side Ganun din naman sa another triangle dito no Ito yung angle D Tsaka angle E Ang included side niya is the line Or the side D E Yan yung ating included side Using this video, no, may kita natin dito. Mayroon mayroon tayong two triangles dito, no? So, may kita natin na may mark, no? May mark, may isang arc, sa so, isang arc. So, ibig sabihin congruent sila. Two arcs, two arcs congruent sila. Tapos may isang line, line, ibig sabihin sila ay congruent yung side. So, may kita natin, no? By ASA, angle side angle, post congruence postulate, sila ay congruent. So, may kita natin dito yung angle A, no? The angle A is congruent to angle P. No? Parehas silang may isang arc. And then, the angle C is also congruent to angle R. Parehas silang two arcs. And then, yung included side nila, the side AC is congruent to the side PR. No, parehas ng kanilang sukat yung included na side. So, ibig sabihin, no, therefore, therefore, the triangle A, B, C is congruent. No, congruent to triangle P, Q, R by angle side angle congruence postulate. Punta na tayo sa pang-apat, no? Ito ang tinatawag na SAA. Pwede rin siyang tawagin AAS. Pwede naman magkabalik na dyan, no? So, SAA stands for side angle side. So, ang definition natin dito, two triangles are congruent. If two angles and a non-included tandaan nyo yung non-included ha? non-included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two angles and non-included side of another triangle. So, let's have an example. So, meron tayo ditong two triangles. No? <clears throat> Sa two triangles two triangles na to, no? kailan natin masasabi na siya ay congruent. No? So, may kita natin dito yung angle B. Dito. No? Parehas silang two arcs ng angle M. So, ibig sabihin, the angle B is congruent to angle M. No? Angle, angle, parehas lang naman yan. And then, may kita din natin dito, no? The angle O is also 
congruent to angle A. No? So, meron dito sinasabing non-included side. No? Non-included. So, ibig sabihin, hindi yung side na nasa pagitan, na nasa gitna ng two angles na ito. Kasi pag nasa pagitan, nasa gitna siya, yan ay hindi na SAA. Yan ay ASA na. Kaya nga sinabing non-included yung hindi na pinagitnaan ng mga angles na ito. So, ibig sabihin, the non-included side, included side, no, ay ang BT. So, dito natin, no, the side BT is also, no, congruent na may natin nakalagay na one mark, no, sa side M N, no. Therefore, the triangle <coughs> BOT is congruent to triangle M A N by side angle angle, no. Pwede rin naman angle angle side, no. Congruence postulate. No, let's have another example. Consider this triangle, no, this diagram, no, magkapatong din to, no. So, nakikita natin dito yung two arcs. Yung angle N tsaka angle P. N tsaka P. Pares yan. Angle M tsaka angle M may one arc din. Pares din yan. And meron tayong reflexive. Ibig sabihin, magkapatong, no, MO is equivalent to M O or congruent to M O. So, tara, pag nilayan natin, no? So, angel N. May kita natin dito. Sabi nga natin kanina, angel N is congruent to angel P. Yan yung isang angel natin, no? And then, yung angel N M O, no? N M O angel N M O It is also congruent to triangle P M O. So P M O. Sorry, angle pala no angle P M O. So ngayon naman no yung non included side. So non included side nila no yun yung reflexive parang magkapatong so yun yung side M O is also congruent reflexive sila sa side M O. So, ibig sabihin, no? Therefore, therefore, the triangle M N O is congruent to triangle M P O by side angle angle congruence post to late. No? So, that's all. No? Sana may natutunan kayo. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Pakipindot po natin yung notification bell no? para malaging updated sa mga susunod ko pa ang video. So, that's all. No? Good luck, soldier.